Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for the week of May 18th through the 24th. This is for Aries. So this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of the 18th to the 24th. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This reading may not be for you. And the timing is still fluid. So this we're just going to go day by day like we did before. What do we have for Aries? What do we have for Aries for the week of the 18th to the 24th of May? This is going to be an overall energy right here, this card. And then we're going to use this deck for the reading. What do we have for Aries for the week ahead? Four of Cups reversed. That's seizing a new opportunity. Seeing a new opportunity and taking it. Being interested. Looking forward. Now it's the end of stagnation. This is the case where you want to see the card reversed. Okay? The Four of Cups in reversed is taking the opportunity. Letting go of regret. I'm interested. I want this. I'll take it. I want it. I want it. So this is, this is seeing an opportunity and taking it. So that is taking a new opportunity this week. You've been not taking it. You've been neglecting it. You didn't want it. You weren't interested. Now you are. Whatever this is, now you're ready. You're ready. So what do we have for Aries for Monday? Page of Wands. Two of Swords. Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, oh, we got three, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, And Sunday. Okay. So, Monday, Page of Wands, Two of Swords. So, good news. All right, a new adventure, taking a new adventure. I don't know, let me see if I can uh, fix that. Maybe not. I don't know why. It bothers me anyway. Anyhow, Page of Wands. Page of Wands is an exciting new adventure. Fresh start. This is a good news arriving. An invitation. An invitation. Somebody may be inviting you. You may not be comfortable with it. You may be uh, not so sure about it. You may be in protective mode not seeing it for what it is, you're going to be getting a message from somebody or an invite, okay? This is like an invitation. Um, whoever you're dealing with is is very positive. Um, you may need to be brave. You may, this is like something new to you, but there's a feeling of distrust. I don't, you know, who, you you know, it feels like you're dealing with somebody that this person say, okay, you got this invite from somebody that this person may be a little bit younger from you. It's like they they're saying, come on, come come on, let's go do this, let's go do that, come with me, you know, and you're like, ah, uh, I don't know about this. I'm not sure if I want to. I don't know if I trust you. I don't know if I should. There's a feeling of. A fear. I can't see what's over. I can't see what's ahead of me. So I don't think I want to do this. You know what I mean? So I think that you're going to get an offer on Monday. Somebody is going to be saying, let's go do this or, you know, whatever it is. This is an invite of some sort. It's almost like, I feel like somebody reaches their hand out to you and they may be giving you something. Okay. They may be making you some offer. They're inviting you to be part of something or to sign something or I don't know what this is. Just, it's like, trust me. It, they may say, trust me, or can you want to do, want to try this? Or, this could be, I don't know who this is, but somebody's something you've never done before. And you're like, uh, uh, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. Uh, 
Mm. I think that you will be guarded. I think that you you may go through with it, but you're going to be guarded over it. So there's a decision. This is a choice. Twos are always about choices. You're going to have to make a choice on Monday. Somebody is extending something to you. So you're going to have to make a choice on Monday. And I feel like you're going to be, you know, when you got your arms crossed, you're sitting there with your arms crossed like, hmm, what's up your sleeve? What do you got up your sleeve? So I feel like that's how you're going to be feeling. Okay, so Monday, be prepared for somebody to, to say something to you or make an offer to you or, you know, try to convince you of something and you'll be like, eh, there's got to be more. Something's up. Something's up. So I think that's what where you're going to be at on Monday. Okay. Tuesday. Death reversed and the hermit reversed. So I feel like uh, this is something isn't over yet. This is a near death experience or, or it's the end of something. There could be an accident. There could be a disaster or there's upheaval with the death reversed. There's destruction. Somebody has been held back by fear. And so they're reluctant to transition. They're reluctant to move on. So on Tuesday, there's holding on. And this holding on is getting old. Okay? Maybe in limbo on Tuesday. Something like that. It's like, hmm, I'm not sure what I want to do. Um, the hermit reversed. I feel like you may decide to uh, reconnect. You may decide to express yourself. You may decide to go for whatever this person is presenting to you on Tuesday. Maybe you were reluctant because of fear. You know, you get this offer on Monday. And on Tuesday, you're like, it could be late Monday night into Tuesday. I don't know. But you get the offer or the invite on Monday. This person is, is like poking you or something. And on Tuesday, it's like you're held back by fear, your fear of this new beginning, but you're kind of ready, right? You're sick of this exile, you're sick of loneliness, you're sick of the sadness, you're ready to socialize, or you're ready for a new life, you're ready to come out of hiding, you're ready to come out of hermit mode, you're, you're sick of being alone, something like that on Tuesday. This is reconnecting, socializing, opening up. And that is the Four of Cups reverse as well. It's like, you, it's kind of scary. This Whatever's happening is scary to you. You've been reluctant. You've been fearful. But it's starting to look a little bit better. Okay, so Wednesday. Wheel of Fortune. So this is the cycle. This is end, This is an ending. It's 10. This is destiny. It's karma. It's good. It's positive. This is the wheel of life changing. Something is changing in your life. Something big. A chapter is closing and a new one is beginning. Okay, this is the wheel of fate. So some, this is a fated event. Could be with the Queen of Cups, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. You'll also have Virgo, uh, Scorpio. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius over here. But I think that you, uh, there's some sort of fated event, change of course with perhaps a water sign. If it's not a water sign, it's somebody that has a really big heart. This is a big hearted woman, somebody that is very caring, generous, kind, loving. Um, this could be a counselor. It could be a nurse. Uh, this is a caregiver of something. It could, it's probably going to be also a very emotional day on Wednesday. Okay, because uh, Queen of Cups is very emotional. Um, it could be... Um, the Wheel of Fortune is, is uh, the end of a cycle, perhaps, with a Queen of Cups. Something could be happening with a Queen of Cups. But that's a 10, Okay. It, so that is a that is a, that is an ending. Tens are completions, completing a cycle with the Queen of Cups. Okay, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So you may be completing this chapter because with the Queen of Cups on Wednesday, it's over. Something is done. Um, hmm. But the Wheel of Fortune is good luck and it's positive change. 
So there could be a new beginning with a Queen of Cups as well. And a queen doesn't have to be a woman. It really, this is somebody who is very loving, very kind, very romantic, very emotional, very um, generous with their love. Will take very good care of you. So on Wednesday, there's some sort of positive change in the love department. Okay, it is. You know, it is. So it is definitely positive. She's got the Ace of Cups in her hand. So there could be a, it could be a very emotional day. Somebody could be pouring out their heart to you. Are you pouring out their heart to, to them? There could be, whatever is going on on Wednesday, it is destiny, it is fated, it is meant to be. This is a positive change, which does involve, you know, an ending. It does. Tens are completions. But this, but when, when a compl an ending always leads to a new beginning. So there's something going on on Wednesday that is very fated, okay? And it does have to do with the heart, matters of the heart on Wednesday. So Thursday, what's Thursday? Thir Wednesday's the 20th, May 20th. Interesting. Thursday, four of wands reversed. This is the 21st. Four, but this is, you know, the timing is fluid. Four of wands reversed. This party is over. There's nothing, there's no celebration. Nothing to celebrate. Can't celebrate. Queen of wands. And the eight of coins, giving up, not putting in effort. We have this individual here that is very creative. This is a creator. Not putting in effort, giving up on our commitment, on our relationship. This is somebody, they're very strong, very determined, very proud. holding their head up high, proudly and giving up on something that isn't... I mean, this is finding the strength and the courage and the confidence to act with integrity or something like that. She's got the Ace of Wands to start fresh. To just go for it. This is leaving behind something that is over, okay? This party is over. The honeymoon is over. There's nothing to celebrate. There's no happiness here. It's a lack of contentment. There's no celebration. There's no gathering. There's no get-together. There's no having fun. It's like there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do here. There isn't. There's nothing you can do. No, you can, There's nothing to prove. There's, there's no work. There's nothing to do. Everything is in order. You think about the Queen of Wands. She's all about order. She's, you know, everything is in order. There's nothing left to do. So Thursday, everything is in order. The cycle has completed on Wednesday. There's nothing left to do but to... Sit back and relax by the looks of things. I think that Thursday is going to be a, a day of, of, it almost feels like respite. <laughs> I don't know where I'm getting that from. It's like there's nothing to do, you know. Sit back and relax. And that is relax as well. Just relax. Anyhow, so... I don't know. Maybe I should get another card for for th for Thursday. Thursday, the the Queen of Wands is very determined and proud. Has a lot to be proud of, even if there isn't anything to celebrate. You have a lot to be proud of. There's a lot of hard work here. It's time to relax on Thursday. It's time to relax. I don't need another card. That's what it is. Relax on Thursday, Friday. Nine of coins. Look at the abundance. That's abundance. 
having it all, having plenty, being comfortable, nothing to worry about. This is enjoying the finer things in life, being grateful. The storm is over. On on Friday, the storm is over. You have, you know. This is a card of independence, being very self-sufficient, having nothing to worry about. You may be getting a payout as well, or somebody may be, because this is a, this could be an inheritance or an increase in money. Also, the time is ripe for. Uh, Oh, God. Something to be added. It's like you're going to be adding something. The next one is the Ten of Coins. The time is ripe. That's what I hear. The time is ripe. You're going to be receiving something. It feels like there's a payout here. You're going to be receiving a payout. It's coming. It's all, but it doesn't feel like it's coming yet. The time is right, but it's not quite time. You know what I'm saying? There is a payout that is coming. We have a very hard worker, and we saw it over here. It's relax on Thursday, Friday. Your payout is coming. Your hard work is going to pay off. It feels like you've got somebody that is very abundant. This is I feel like there is somebody that is going to be giving you something. Somebody that is very abundant. This person is very self-sufficient. They have a lot to offer. I feel like you're going to be receiving something. Could be from a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now, you may be feeling troubled. You may be feeling troubled. You may be feeling... Um, stuck because you can't go anywhere not going anywhere on on Friday stuck but being very comfortable so you know on Friday I feel like you you maybe you're feeling troubled you're feeling like you need more you're going to there's nothing to worry about okay I think that you have a lot. I think that you're you have plenty. You have plenty. You have plenty. I also feel like you have somebody around you that has plenty and they're going to be giving you something. You may be distraught, you may be worried, you may be thinking that you're not going to get your fair share and this could go vice versa, but I think so, who, whatever you're worried about, you don't need to worry about because maybe you're worried about another person. Okay, because these swords are worried, troubled. So you may on Friday you may be worried about somebody in your life that you don't need to be worried about. This person is very abundant, they're self-sufficient, they're a hard worker, this is a business owner, they can take very good care of themselves. So on Friday I, I see troubled mind, troubled in their head. Somebody is troubled and worried about their finances or they're worried about somebody in their family. Maybe they're worried about a child because this could signify an inheritance. I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to. Maybe it's a wife. I don't know who it is, but this is about maybe they're worried about leaving somebody, you know, not leaving them enough or something. There's nothing to worry about. Whoever This person's going to have plenty. Plenty. There's nothing to worry about. There's plenty here. Plenty to be had. So on Friday, there's worries about money. There's worried about stability. There's nothing to worry about. There's nothing to worry about. Anyhow. Sunday. No, Saturday. I do that always. Saturday. This is the hangman versus the hierophant. So this is... This is uh, you're going to have to struggle. This is a struggle. You must struggle through this. So you may be dealing with somebody that is struggling. Somebody could be hanging on to you. Okay? Because I feel like you I feel like you are under a lot of pressure. I think that you're under a lot of social pressure. You may be being controlled by somebody. Maybe you're being controlled by somebody in authority or you're being controlled by uh Ego, okay? Um, this is feeling disgraced. 
okay? So Saturday is a day of feeling um, under a lot of social pressure, okay? You may be feeling like this isn't right or this isn't fair or something like that. With the, There's a lack of spirituality. Somebody may not have done the right thing in the eyes of God or something like that on Saturday. This is poor counsel, listening to the wrong people, not taking advice, not listening to, to the right person. Uh, needing to look at things from a new perspective with the hangman. Surrender. Let it go. Somebody is learning some kind of lesson about social pressure, about society. And they've had a hard time doing the right thing because of society. And on Saturday, it's going to come to a head. They may be judged. Somebody may be judged for their lack of spirituality or their lack of judgment. I don't need the judgment card. Their lack of belief or faith or whatever in the higher power. I don't know. There's something going on here. A need for a new perspective here. And it has to do with the higher power. And they're going to, somebody's going to get a wake-up call on Saturday. Now the hangman is, is like punishment. So it's like punishment. A new perspective is needed. Somebody needs to take time and go within. On Saturday, we have a lesson that needs to be learned. Somebody let their ego get in the way of making the right decision. They didn't go down the right path. And on Saturday, they may pay for it. I'm sorry I'm not trying to scare you. But this is punishment. And this is a higher power. I'm not saying God punishes people, but... Karma does. And you think about Judgment Day. You have to pay for your sins or whatever you... I don't know what the hell is going on here. Um, lack of spirituality... Somebody did not do the right thing. And they are about to get a wake-up call on Saturday. And, and, and the hey man is about struggling. So somebody is going to be enlightened the hard way. Because they didn't trust. They didn't have faith. They didn't believe. Oh, I'm sorry. Sunday. Saturday is going to be a tough day. I'm sorry. Somebody's going to get awakening, an awakening because of society. They're under a lot of social pressure and they make the wrong choice and they're going to get a wake-up call for making the wrong choice. When, I, when, when you think about the wrong choice, the society does it. It's not about the things, okay? It's not about the things. It's not the most beautiful house. It's not about the most beautiful car. It's not about the most beautiful things, okay? It's not always about being paid back. It's not about money. Anyway, Sunday. Sunday, page of coins. New door is opening on Sunday. After the awakening. There's some turbulence from Thursday into Friday. Okay? May have to be in the money. Somebody may lose something financially. You're still going to have plenty because there's karma and fate here. The wheel of fortune is karma and fate. So I don't know what is going on. But anyway, we do have a new doorway opening up on Sunday. This is a new enterprise, a new opportunity to start over, build a new foundation. Be honest, be true, act with integrity. So yeah, Sunday is a new beginning. It is. This is a new opportunity to start over. Four of coins reversed. This is not being greedy, sharing, giving this time. Giving. Not hoarding. Giving. Giving. 
without expectation of being paid back. For a pentacles reverse is it's time to let, let go. It's time to relax. Same kind of similar to the four of cups, but a little bit different. It's time to share. It's time to give. Give does not mean give with conditions. When you give, you give. So Sunday, it's about giving. Sunday is going, somebody is going to be, and this is upright, very stubborn, it's greedy. This is a miser that doesn't like to share. Somebody is learning a lesson about greediness this week. I'm sorry. And they're about to give. It may have something to do with a child as well because pages often symbolize children. So opening up, sharing, giving. Starting fresh. Sunday there's a new opportunity to start over. And be more generous. So Sunday somebody is, there may even be an apology. Somebody may be apologizing on Sunday. Somebody is going to be opening up and giving something on Sunday. Something of value. Could be something monetary. So there could be a gift. Could be coming from you. Or you could be giving it on Sunday. Good luck.